Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, I've spent the morning painting the new office for my wife, so I am pretty exhausted, but I have to tell you, we're getting ready for our first Wednesday night bass tournament of the year. We've got a little local Wednesday night league. Hank and Duke, for the last, I'm going to say three months, have been asking me what Wednesday we're going to go bass fishing. And today is the first one we're going to be able to make. They actually had one last Wednesday, but I was down in uh, the Ozarks, fishing at Lake of the Ozarks. So I was not able to make that. So right now, the boys are upstairs. I hear them running around. I told them to pick out a few snacks while I filmed the video. I'm a little concerned that they're going to be picking out sodas and chips and all kinds of stuff. So we'll see what they have. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited to head out on the water. We might even film a few this year. Tonight, we're actually going to be cut short. I'm on, They start at five o'clock, go till about eight. We're not actually going to get out till probably about 630 tonight based on some other things that I have to take care of first. But we're going to head out, hopefully have a good fun night on the water. The boys are pretty excited about it. Uh, but today's topic, I want to talk about knots. You know, I've, I've had a lot of comments after each one of my on the water tournament videos regarding what knots that I use. Um, this is a topic that I think oftentimes gets a lot of attention that I don't know deserves the attention it gets. And what I mean by that is for the most part, I think you can use what knots you feel most comfortable with. Now, I do think there are some knots that are better than other knots, and I'll kind of detail the ones that I specifically like to use and why. But in reality, there's probably 10 legit knots that you can use with fluorocarbon as a connecting knot, as a uh, monofilament or a, a, a braided knot. I mean, it really comes down to the line that you're using. There's a select uh, handful of knots that I think work almost all about the same. The biggest thing went with knots is you need to be able to tie them consistently correct. So whatever knot it is that you choose, you need to make sure you know how to tie it. And the second thing is I would say choose a knot that you can tie efficiently. So not only accurately, but also do it in a timely manner. I mean, I know some people that like to tie certain knots, but it takes them three or four times to get to get it right. So they recognize that it's wrong, which is great, but they're also wasting a lot of time getting it correct. And when you're talking about a knot that generally is not going to break, for the most part, it doesn't really matter which knot you choose as long as it's a correct knot for that line type and you can do it efficiently and correctly. So I'm going to share with you the ones that I like to use because I get this question all of the time. I know I've talked about knots in, in previous videos, but because I've gotten so many recent requests, I just want to touch base on these. So I have three knots that I tie almost everything across the board. The first one is for braided lines. If I'm tying a braided line directly to a bait, I'm going to be using a double polymer. A polymer knot works just fine as well. A double polymer, in my opinion, is just that much stronger. So I go with a double polymer, but a polymer knot is a great knot. In my opinion, that's the best no-slip knot for braided line. And I would bet you 75% of pros use a polymer or double polymer when it comes to using braided line. So to me, if I'm if I'm tying braid direct to a bait, it's probably going to be a frog. It's going to be some sort of pitching bait or a punching bait. It's something where I'm putting a lot of pressure on that bait when I set the hook. So I do want a knot that is not going to slip at all. And that's where I, I choose the double polymer or a polymer, but generally it's a double polymer. If I'm talking about monofilament or fluorocarbon, where I'm fishing that pretty much just straight or connecting to a bait, I really like to tie what's called a Miller knot. I've done a video in the past on what the Miller knot is. It's some, it's a knot you don't hear about talked about much at all, but for the last couple of years, I've been using it. And it is, in my opinion, the best foolproof knot. Now there are a lot of other good knots out there. I think the key though, with the knot that you choose is you want to go through your line tie 
twice, meaning you want two wraps aligned. So the Miller knot does that. Some people like like the San Diego jam knot. There's a the three tag knot. The key with all of those is you've got two wraps around your line tie, which in my opinion makes it a much stronger knot and prevents it from breaking as much. Um, the, in my opinion, the Miller knot, again, is just one that I've really taken a liking to. It's a simple knot to tie. I'll put a video showing you how to tie that at the end of this if you want to watch that. But it's a great one for drop shots. It's a good one for uh, just, you know, a light fluorocarbon. It's a good one for mon monofilament. It generally has taken over as my mainstay knot anytime I'm using fluorocarbon or monofilament. And then lastly... I tie a connecting knot. So a lot of my spinning reels have braid to fluorocarbon. And in those instances, I tie a double uni or a uni to uni knot, uh, whichever you want to call that. Some people call it a double uni. I call it a uni to uni. It's a simple connecting knot for me that I can tie very quickly and efficiently in the boat. Do I think that the FG knot is a great knot? I absolutely do. But for me, I don't really see a huge advantage to that knot over the uni to uni, and I can tie the uni to uni significantly faster in the boat with conditions that may not be ideal. It could be windy or it could be wavy. And in those instances, I feel much more confident tying a uni to uni, and I have never really had an issue with it. So I haven't seen a reason to change. I'm not knocking the FG knot. I think it's a great knot. A ton of people love it. Again, it's just one of those personal preference things. But when you're asking me what knots I use, these are the three knots that I use on a daily basis when I'm out fishing. A lot of other great knots out there. I'm not saying that these are the best knots for everybody. These are simply the ones that I choose to use because I'm efficient with them. I don't have uh, breakage issues. And it's really just something that comes down to personal preference and experience. And they work for me. So... Guys, let me know in the comment section, what are your favorite knots for those three? I want your uh, monofilament slash fluorocarbon, or maybe you've got a separate one for that, your braided line knot, as well as your connecting knot, so that others who are asking these questions can learn from you guys too, because by all means, I'm not sitting here saying that mine are always the best. They're the right ones for me at this time. A year from now, I might change to a different knot, but these are the ones I'm using as of right now. So thanks for watching, guys. I got to go get the boat ready. We're going to head out, hopefully catch a few uh, Wisconsin River smallmouths, maybe a bonus largemouth. We'll see. Thanks for watching.